Things of God by Ives Phillips. No matter how much time has passed since he last opened the chat box, Lamar was still spooked by the final bit of exchange shared between him and his friend. Taji from Yemen, whose handle was The Burning Tree 1997, with an avatar gif of a white poplar with burning leaves and branches. The Burning Tree 1997. I don't know how we're going to make it. Taji's message haunted Lamar with a sort of horror movie finality, even six weeks later. Especially six weeks later. After all the ways Lamar tried to put their conversation back to life with, Are you okay? And Are you in hiding? And to the drone of newscasters sharing Yemen attack updates in the background of his living room, You ain't dead, are you? Not yet, Lamar was banking on when he set up to prepare for his own strategic involvement. If Taji wasn't dead yet, then he still had some time to save him somehow. And if not, well then, it wouldn't be a true waste of time, would it? Lamar closed the chat box, sending it away with a little prayer that Taji will finally reply and set Lamar's spirit to rest, and resumed his project on his browser. Google Maps was crap, but it was the best crap that Lamar could work with. And with the city that Taji told him he lived in, and the many news articles he skimmed through, it was easy to set the coordinates to the key points that Lamar was targeting, the ones compounded with severe famine and the ongoing war. He integrated the coordinates with the locator program in the next window and sent it off to load in the drones. His drones, dozens of them, some ordered online and some built by the hands of himself and some of his robotic colleagues. The rows of icons in the box next to the HTML didn't show the sleek aerodynamic design and the solar panels used to collect the sun's energy by day to prepare for the showers at night. What the icon box did show, when the right button was clicked, was the view captured by the drones' cameras, depicting hints of their hiding places and whether or not danger was afoot, be that soldiers who wanted to keep Yemeni starved or apex predators going on the offensive to save their lives. All the tiny screens show that the locations were clear of both, which meant it was time for action. Once all the drones had their orders and destinations loaded into their system, Lamar closed the HTML box and maximized the rows of camera footage. He set each drone to life. Simultaneously, the views in the cameras rose high, filling the air around them with the gentle buzz that Lamar knew was as undetectable to normal hearing as the dark panels in the night was to unaided sight. Once the drones reached their destination, they began their showers. First sweep, they unloaded mounds of fertilized soil that cradled specialized seeds or pods graciously donated by the Swamp Secrecy Group of the Agricultural Engineering Department. Next, the water, loaded with vitamins to ensure that the seeds and pods would have a healthy start and grow strong for the villages they were gifted to. And finally, this sweep taking a little bit longer, the letters. He couldn't trust the heads of families to share the news of this with their neighbors, not with the paranoid notion Lamar had that they would keep such vital information to themselves. So he sought out the nearby hospitals, aid tents, and schools, anyone that was still open and running, and gently laid on their doorsteps a letter, ones wrapped in Kent Miss Neon protective plastic and holding a detailed map, instructions, and a letter translated to the best Yemeni that Lamar could. We have seen your suffering, and we came to help. You shall not starve, you shall not thirst, you shall not lie sick, not when we're around. This was a Hail Mary move, Lamar knew. He knew the soldiers would try to burn all the secret crops they could find, or force the citizens to work them so that the military leeches could stuff their faces with the food. Heck, maybe no one would heed the instructions and all the work Lamar and his team put into this would be a waste of time. But, I don't know how we're going to make it, but Lamar had to try.